so first we will create one file uh, one text file then we will add some content into that file and in the end we'll uh, erase those all content we will clear those all content so we'll see all these things step by step so let's create one file to create a file in PowerShell we have a command called new item and then we have to provide a path uh, for a demo let's let's take this particular path C temp and then we will provide the file name in this case I'm taking this file one.txt and then we need to provide the item type so we have file directory and a multiple item over there so if you want to create a folder then you have to mention a directory but here we are creating a single file so we'll provide file and giving a force action and here you can see the file has been created and it's currently it's empty so let's add some data or some value over there so let's declare one variable and we'll write something called this is line number one okay so we have this particular data into this data variable and to add some content over the txt file we have this command add content and then we have to provide value and this is our value dollar data and then we need to provide the path and uh, this is our path so we need to provide this particular path the file path and you can see the content has been added this is the line number one so this variable data you can directly provide over here so in case if you want to do something like this you can also provide this is line number two and then provide a path and provide the path file path over there and it will add those content on the second line okay and you can also provide this particular data as a pipeline so in case you want something like this this is line number three okay and you can provide something like this you have to pro you have to mention your variable which contain the data then provide the pipeline and then add content and you can notice over here it's not showing you a parameter called value so previously you can see the value parameter over here over here is it is visible because you have already provided a data uh, a variable which contains the data so he, it, he is taking that as a value parameter so here you have to only provide path where you want to add this and if you go there you can see line number three is added so it's pretty much simple uh, to add the line now we'll see how if you want to clear that particular uh, data from the file so clear data means you want to erase all the content you are not going to delete the file to do that we have another command called clear content and then provide the file path and if you press enter you can see all the data has been cleared out okay so this is also going to help you and if you want to delete the file then there is a command called remove item and you can provide the file path give a force action and that particular file has been removed so this is pretty much straightforward how to create a file add a content uh, clear the content and remove the complete file so we will see this in a bulk action just by using a for loop in powershell so let me create create one for loop for i is equal to one i is less than six and i plus plus and here we need to write a data so uh, 
let's take an example that suppose we want to create five different files okay for file one file two file three file four file five so that's the reason i have provided number one value into i and it will uh, it will go into the loop till it uh, have some value like number five which is less than six and then it will uh, exit this particular loop so uh, first let's create the file so to create the file, we first need uh, a dynamic variable <coughs> which will go into the loop and create a new file each and every time. So I'm just creating one variable which will have uh, this particular file path, C temp. Then I'm adding file name hyphen. Then the number of the file. So this is going to be a one and then I'm typing dot txt so when I'm declaring i is equal sorry when I'm declaring i is equal to one and if I run this particular line and you can see my path is ctm file one dot txt and it will go into a loop and it will create a file two file three uh, each time when the loop is uh, loop is going to execute now we need to add a new hyphen item command so let's take file path and this add path then we need item type this is going to be a file we'll give a four section now let's run this loop and see what uh, it will create so we don't have anything over here and I'm executing loop and you can see one two three four five it's created five uh, files over here and all those files are empty because we don't have anything uh, inside the file now let's write something inside the file okay uh, so in this case let me comment out this particular uh, new item and then we will add some content add content then value and we need a path so let's create a value first our value should be dynamic you can add the same value that is also fine but we are using loop here so let's create something dynamic so this is file number and can give one this is my value and uh, then we will add content value dollar value then file path and this is going to be my file path so we already have a file path over there if I click on path uh, it's uh, showing you six because the i value is six after exiting this particular loop so if i use dollar i is equal to one and then path then it will uh, indicating file number one so that file number will one will store in this particular path and we are using that part over here and we are also randomly changing the value so this is the file number and then it will uh, appear one so uh, it will use something like this file number one and it will add that into the particular file content so let me go ahead and run it and it's executed successfully and let me open the file and you can see in file one it's added this is file number one file 2 it's added this is file number 2 file 4 it is added this is file number 4 okay it's pretty much straightforward so we have added the content now let's remove the content to remove the content we only need a path we don't need this two things so we will comment it out this two, two, two things and then we'll use clear content and then file path and we'll provide the path let's run this it's executed successfully and you can see all file data has been erased it's cleared out okay and finally 
let me comment it down if you want to remove this then remove item then file part dollar path and then you can apply force to remove it forcefully and if I run this you can see all the data has wiped out the file has been deleted so this is how to create a file add the content clear the content out and remove the file in PowerShell